Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. 
See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, 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 no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <gasps> You killed it. Look up there. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. Here. Boy. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? <laughs> Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind moons. At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, is that Sindri? told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But, uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Probably shouldn't let my brother...
brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Oh, what more do you need? Now don't be a stranger! Oh, I could use a distraction. Well, don't buy anything on my account. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh. So small, you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Why? Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. No gloves. He says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. You know how that makes sense. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. speak of this realm not much just that since the elves are always fighting over the light they kept them isolated Said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, boy? Oh. <clears throat> Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. <clears throat> it's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. 
soul. Evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. and I'll find two. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Uh, we must find it. Back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? But set that aside. We must proceed on the road. Oh boy.
Atreus, to me!
What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Sindri said, mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Ah, no! Enemies ahead! Don't you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Did something, I think. Prepare yourself. Combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. What's that? I don't see anything else over here. Maybe we should check the sand bowl again? Father, do you ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. But set that aside. We must proceed on foot. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish rune. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard, I, it was hard to make out, but way in the back I'm pretty sure I heard, Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. Who they want he looks different. Look at those horns. Do not Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Oh, <laughs> 
Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Be ready. What? Side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky.
You were wrong back there. Oh. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay.
If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Yeah. Watch our backs, boy.
We must find a way up. The light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. No, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. <laughs> 